Nick Ra here? Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple years back we got hammered on party liquor and spread eagle? And I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Herc, I really don't have time for this. But, dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Come on, get you stupid right. gal. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I can get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? <laughs> what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Herc! What the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! situation is uh, rather dire, but just head through the doors, man. I'll explain everything in a minute. Whoa. What is this place, Herc? What am I doing here? Look, man, okay, there ain't always a logical explanation of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself, like, in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. What? Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. so happy to see you too now i know what you're thinking where's my junk but as important as the answer is to that question we got bigger fish to fry firstly let me explain what's going on you are now on mars welcome now imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation why are you on, on mars to save the earth man what from an alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man. An alien invasion, amigo. Now I'm gonna keep... Keep it 100 with you. It's not gonna be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's gonna be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. And we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, earth-saving butterfly she once was? By finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moved. But no, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. 
Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kirk? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. No, I don't want any part of this. That's I just it, want to man. go back That's to my the family. Core. Bring it back and put it inside the terminal. So, you brought me all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that. It's Control center restored. It worked! See? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro Nick. Uh... Oh. Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah. Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. Just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Now, I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic. Harvest is straight from the valley. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. What? When you're done, man, take some of your space jizz over that 3D print machine over there and I'll show you a cool trick. Voila! Oh, amigo! Quite a place for all your wildest dreams to come true. The more blueprints I can retrieve from the database. when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now, come on. Grab my head, dude. We got work to do. Man. And this is not happening. Get a grip. Turning them on will help restore my functionality and help you on your- Holy shit, what was that? Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. Space crab, man. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. We can't find the other energy cores unless we power the antenna. Fuck me. Some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana. Man, I, I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen tremors? These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. And was... Telling me that they're gonna use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy core so Ann can't get back online. 
So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. It's working! Antenna restored. Functionality increased. Excellent, Nick. Thank you for your assistance. You may now consult your map to locate other energy cores in this area. Oh man, those two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big-ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way, my space jets are still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man. Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ann. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man. I'm staying positive. Disengaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Point, man, I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad body. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With trans... Friends. You will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Done and done. Here and now. Another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. I'm happy you will comply. Transference is the future. Okay, just like Ann said, we need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transference center without them. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. Damn! Looks like the energy cores are up there. We need to find those space jets. That's too high, amigo. We can grab it once we find the space jet. Junk. Nick! Nick! Where's my junk? Nick! 
You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your beckerless pelvis. Come on, man. A little sympathy. We gotta find the rest of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? Can and can turn me. Into a real boy again. What you're saying is impossible. No way, Jose. We shoot a big enough load of that space jizz in the air 3D printer and anything's possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be. Perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train for this one. Man. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity, the pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dumb. Approaching transference center. Oh, man. I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes, I'm gonna be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's gonna be sweet, man. It's gonna be sweet. Okay. Terminal is on the top floor. You gotta power that place up before we can use the transference chamber. You fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, Herc. Not with that attitude, they don't. Use the transference chamber. Two of you working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tad Bros for life! Put me in, dude! Put me in! We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle out there. Channel now! Don't mess up my goatee. some theme music. energy core. Let's head to the closest antenna.
right, buddy. Brace yourself, you're about to pop a bro boner here. Check it out. Your bad boy Robocop here is fitted with a whole punch and lasers that these spacecraft don't stand no chance against. And this sexy, delicious, rock-hard body was built to last all kinds of physical and verbal abuse. We're linked up, man, so you can just tell me where to go and I'll follow, man. I won't even argue, like, ever. Unless you say something about monkeys. And if we find ourselves in a pickle and shit gets real intense, you just use me, man. I'll draw these suckers away with my jaw-dropping dance moves and such. Now, I know you're impressed with how impressive I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the heroes they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. Now leaving, transfer. Her? Just how the hell did you get mixed up in all this? Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I, I didn't really realize. I tried to impress Ann by taking care of this all myself and where didn't get me? Got my damn body snatched and sprinkled all over damn Mars. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I was, just, I was trying to get something. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Herky. Do you hear yourself? I'm stuck doing this because you're not smart. You're actually really, really dumb, Herc. I was dumb, Nick. I was dumb. Past tense. And for like a very short period of time, I'm talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact. Which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Approaching antenna. All right, man. Same deal as last time. Get to the top and power that terminal. It, man. See, there's a chance to test yourself and to test those space jets. Come on, man. Beware the stabilizer cores. Touching them will cause severe harm to any organic matter. Sucks for you, buddy, that you're made out of all that organicness. Too bad you don't have a sweet killer robot outfit like I do. Transference is the future. Robots never age, never decay, never rot. Robots are forever. Do you desire transference, Nick Rai? Uh, no. That's okay, I'm good. So what exactly is gonna happen once Ant's power is restored? As you restore power to my terminals, you will in turn help me regain control of my network. My robot army will power back on and assist you in fending off the arachnid horde. Wait, robot army? Once I regain sole control, I will direct my robots to the launcher, where they will travel to Earth and intercept the arachnid invasion. Jesus. I know, man. It's gonna be awesome. Her. That sounds terrifying. of your body parts to your map. Antenna C1 restored. Energy core locations updated. Unturned, know what I mean? I gotta 
say, Ann? I'm touched. Because I know you're not super on board with the idea of me being human again. I have had enough discussions with you, Herc, to know that appealing to you with logic and reason is pointless. Oh, man. That is really nice of you to say. You really get me. Herc, shouldn't we be focusing on saving the world? Nick Rye is correct. We are. I just want to take a peek, okay? C1. Use caution. I am detecting a strong arachnid presence. A queen has laid her eggs here. Queen? Eggs? Remember what I said, amigo? Queen's gonna have that energy core with her, but we need to get it back. Killing her offspring will draw the queen out. Offspring? You mean, you mean babies, right? I don't want your babies. These ain't babies, okay? They're tiny little monsters, man. This is 100% guilt-free baby killing, man, like... Baby carrots revealed. Besides, it's the only way we can draw the queen out and get the energy core. Seismic activity detected. Whoa! Here comes the queen. You were right, Herc. She had your right arm. Uh, wait, 
What's this other thing? Exposing it to the arachnids will render them hostile toward one another. So I throw this thing out, and the space crabs fight each other and not me. Fighting over a woman's heart. Maybe we ain't so different after all. Herc, these things want to eat every person on Earth. The universe works in mysterious ways, Nicholas. Terminal room lock disengaged. You may now enter. Station C1, restore. creatures. I believe in you. I'm right here. Here. You will save the Earth. Oh, good idea. Okay, whatever. I'll just be the accessory, the ultimate killing machine, an accessory. Super good idea there. You heard the lady. Let's go, Mr. Soul Hero of Earth, who don't need my help whatsoever. Of course not. Man, you just lead the way, and I guess I'll just follow along like a little toady helper boy. Herc, would you grow up? Sorry, man, I'm just normally okay with being ignored by overly hot women. I mean, just not when it's because of my best friend. Approaching Robot Repair Center. So much for this place. See, Nick, we really do have to make me human again, because if I die as a robot, we can't bring me back to life no more. Well, the same damn thing applies to humans, Herc. Yeah, for now, but in the future, who knows? Uh, nothing happened. The center's power nodes require repairs. A bot has been deployed. All the repair bots! Engage in combat and conduct repairs at the same time. You got your back, little fella! <laughs>
thing that makes me nervous. It's, it's probably why I've never collected anything of value or fathered any children. Look out, man, there's more of them. One node remaining. This note's from Larry Parker. Oh, so that's who Ann was talking about. No, she told me that, that she had another before me, but I didn't really want to hear about him. I, I'm, I'm the jealous type, so. Anyways, he was like a, a servant who helped her put together this whole place or something. I don't know, he's sounding like a douchebag to me. Well, what, what happened to him? Who knows, man, and who gives a shit? I mean, who cares what Ann's ex-man is up to? I mean, really. Guy was a fucking egghead, okay? What do you think he's gonna be doing? Nothing cool, I can tell you that much. But if you're so curious, Nick, you can probably find lots of just scribbly notes around here. that there are no gas stations on Mars where he might procure dodgy supplements. Clutch Nixon, a stuntman as wise as he is brave, was down to his last vials of wolf testosterone and grizzly bear urine. He mixed the two potent ingredients and injected the concoction known as a Montana speedball directly into his heart. Instantaneously, he felt the rush of pure masculine energy. With a clenched jaw matching the biting force of 10,000 crocodiles, he leapt off the cliff and traveled at speeds that not even the god Mercury could match. To this day, the stunt called Premium Rush has never been repeated by any mortal or immortal man.
Warning, Queen Arachnid ahead. Watch out for the Queen! back in the 90s. It was the No Cardigans Acquired Tour, which was odd because back then everybody wore a cardigan. The band broke up during that tour and I learned a valuable lesson. Never invite your mom backstage. My mama ran a train on those guys and they got all depressed or whatnot. Said she made them feel used and objectified. Some people just aren't cut out for rock and roll, I guess.
some heavy stuff, Migo. Like, what is my purpose, man? What is the nature of man if not to procreate and exchange information, right? So how am I going to exchange said information over heavy heaving boobs without the ability to procreate? like this is creating even tighter bond in our already historic friendship. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of responsibility. We already... Who's more responsible than me? Who is more responsible than me? Seriously? With great power comes great responsibility. You have seen my calves. They look like goddamn Christmas hams. I'm a very powerful man, which in turn makes me very responsible, Nicholas. That's not... Antenna C2 restored. Energy core locations updated. You know, I was just thinking. And one of the thoughts that occurred to me was, if I could see underground, these little bastards wouldn't stand a chance. You see, I'd just be up here playing whack-a-mole with these big old hammers here. Just a thought for version 2.0, and that's uh, that's my, my fearless feedback, if you will, my two cents. Like, your robots need super x-ray vision and night vision, and heat signature vision, infrared vision, television, long division, panavision, all the visions, man. And not just to see underground now that I think about it, uh, other stuff too. I'm, I'm not, 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 not gonna say what, but uh, yeah, just, just make it so I can see through things, please. 